Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I will be sharing three crock pot dinners for these uh, fall winter days. So come along. So for the first one that I'm doing is a ranch beef stew and I cut up my beef. I'm going to add about a quarter cup of just lightly dusted with some flour and then I'm going to brown the meat in my cast iron with some garlic. While this is cooking, I'm going to cut up my veggies. So for the veggies, you need celery, carrots, four potatoes, I'm doing two potatoes, and a cauliflower, and then you need a can of tom diced tomatoes. I unfortunately forgot to buy some, so I am going to chop up some of these, about a can worth, and see how that goes. So I have all my veggies chopped up and the beef is ready. Now I'm going to add some um, stock, beef broth, uh, I had some frozen and some fresh and then I have my own ranch dressing seasoning which will go in it and then it's gonna go on for 8 hours on low. The stew is all done and ready to be eaten. Today for um, my crock pot dinner, I am making a chicken pot, crock pot chicken pot pie. Um, I'm trying to make it a little bit on uh, lower carb side, I guess. Uh, it's not low carb, like keto or anything like that, but a little bit lower carb. So I am, first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make myself a substitution for condensed cream of chicken soup. And for that, I need some chicken broth, which I have my own homemade, some milk or cream, so two thirds, so two thirds of a cup of um, stock, two thirds of a cup of uh, milk or cream, um, quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, onion powder, and then some salt and pepper to taste. And then you will need a little bit of flour. You can substitute this, I think, with zantan gum if you really wanted to make it super low carb. And then I need some butter. Now that the butter is almost melted, I am going to slowly add flour and whisk it. I'm going to slowly add my liquid, so my broth and my cream, and whisk while you're adding it. The last thing I'm going to do is And now I'm going to bring it to a boil, and I'm going to use one, one, one third of a cup of this um, for my recipe, and the rest I'm going to throw in a freezer. So for the pie, well for the pot pie, crock pot pie, you will need chicken, some celery, so half a cup of celery, approximately one celery, is it a rind, uh, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. I will share the recipe. And then some poultry seasoning, I have made my own because I don't typically have poultry seasoning, so I can share that recipe, just sage, margarine, thyme, uh, nutmeg and pepper, some milk or cream, half an onion, your condensed soup, a uh, package of frozen vegetables, and then I am using cauliflower instead of potatoes, and I did mention chicken, right? So I'm gonna put everything into the slow cooker and cook it for, I'll let you know. 
So here it is, and I put it on for seven and a half hours because that would bring it to the time when we need to eat it. And I can't wait to try it. It is my first time making it, so we'll see um, how it tastes. I'll let you know what I think. So it is done. I just shredded the chicken and uh, make sure you taste it because I did have to add a little bit more salt. For this recipe, I am making Tuscan chicken tortellini soup and I have added some chicken. I have added two cans of diced tomatoes. I am using these from Kirkland because I ran out of all of mine. And I'm going to add some um, chicken broth. Chicken broth, I will have the recipe linked below. Some cream. Parmesan. Italian seasoning. Some onion and garlic. Some salt. some pepper and I'm going to turn it on just mix this up and I'm going to turn it on for six hours so on high I added fresh tortellini 20 minutes before the end of the cooking. Here it is in a slow cooker, what it looks like. So here it is, the tortellini drank some of the liquid. There is more liquid in the slow cooker. Uh, just uh, didn't put all of it in here. So, and it tastes absolutely delicious.